7.5 is arithmetic series. So a series is a little different from a sequence in that what we're going to do is add the terms of a sequence. So it could be the sum of an entire sequence, or it could be part of the sequence that you're going to add up. So for instance, if I said, um, I want to know what the sum of the first 10 terms is in the sequence where I have numbers adding just uh, regular numbers from 1 to 100. So this was a question that was put forward to a young boy, uh, an amazing mathematician by the name of Gauss. You've probably heard of him, or if not, you will now. And Gauss was a very clever young boy, and when the teacher asked him to add up these numbers from 1 to 100, um, he thought that this was going to keep his students busy for quite a long time. But Gauss, being the clever little boy that he was and every teacher's dream child, he decided that he could add these numbers very quickly by just adding them, writing the, the numbers out again in reverse order. So, what, oh, this one at 99, 8, 97. <laughs> That helps if you write the numbers right down here. And so this would be one that we're going backwards here. So he's just reversing. So like this. So he said, okay, well, if I wrote the numbers 1 to 100, and then I write 100 to 1, and if I just add these numbers together, and this is so magical, it's kind of fun to watch. I do, when I add each of these columns of numbers now, I'm going to get 101 each time. So he figured this out very quickly. The teacher was very impressed, as any teacher would be. And he said, oh, well, all I have to do is say now that I have, I have 101 100 times, because I had 100 terms. So he said, I have 100 times 101, but I've got two sums here and I only wanted to add one of them together. So if you take 100 times 101, for instance, here now I have uh, 10,100. I could have done that in my head, couldn't I? But I have two of them. So I'm going to take this number and divide it by two and that's going to give me the right number of the sum. So we got 50-50. So this was a pretty uh, pretty clever way to figure this out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what happens if we um, use more general terms so that we can set up a formula for the sum of a series. So what I've done here is I've written it out in uh, forward and backwards where A is my first term. And remember with the arithmetic sequence you add D each time. So I have A plus D, then I add A plus two Ds. And then if you go to the end here, we have the nth term. So the term before that would be tn minus the d and tn minus two d's. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. And that's my that's my, my series here that I'm trying to add. And I'm going to do like Gauss did, and I'm going to write everything backwards. So you can see I've just flipped this the other way around. I'm starting with tn and I'm ending with a. Now, if you look what happens when I add these together, I would get two SNs here because, of course, I'm adding SN and SN, just like I had to divide by two over here. So I have two SNs equal, and now I have A plus TN. And if you add this column here, you'd have the Ds would cancel, right? Because I have a plus a D and a minus a D. So these cancel, and I have another A plus TN. I'm going to put these in brackets. You can see that we have the same thing over and over. And again, these cancel out. So I have an A plus TN. Dot, dot, dot. Plus, same thing here. A plus TN. And A plus TN. And finally, A plus TN. So if I want to make a formula for this now, I'm going to say, okay, so... The sum of n terms, sum of n terms is going to be a plus tn. Now, how many of those did I do? So remember, Gauss had to multiply by the number of terms, which is 100. 
but I don't have the number. I have an nth number of terms. So I'm just going to use times n. So I n times all of this. And I had two SNs, so I have to divide by 2. So I get n over 2 times a plus tn. Or you might see it like this. Sum of n terms is n over 2 times t1 plus tn. So this is a great formula to use when you have the first and the last terms and the number of terms. Okay, so that's critical because um, you don't always have that information. So here you need the first term. Well, I'm going to write the first and last terms. The first and last terms and the number of terms. So if you have those three things, this is a very easy formula for you to use to figure out the sum of the series. So we're going to look at another formula that you could also be using. And I've started it here because I didn't want to spend too much time. Or you, you've probably seen this in class or not. You can see it here. So I started with this formula, which is the one that we just developed on the other side. Now notice I put the two here. You could put the two under the n or under this, it doesn't matter, you're multiplying and dividing by two. So don't, don't freak out if you see the two in a different position. Like this, like this, same thing. So in this case, what we've done to create a new formula is say, okay, well, we know that Tn equals a plus n minus one times d. If you don't know that, that's this is just simply the arithmetic, arithmetic sequence general formula. Right, that's the general formula. So we're going to plug that in into the equation for Tn here. So here's Tn and here's a plus n minus 1 times d. So just direct substitution. And then simplifying that, I have a plus a is 2 a's, n minus 1 times d, and divided by 2. So this second formula, so this is your formula number 2, which you, you need to know as well, this is what you're going to use when you have the first term, so the a, right, first term, you have the common difference, which is d, and the number of terms, which is your n. Okay, so uh, just to clarify that here, first term, that was a, the common difference, which is your d, number of terms, which is n. So that covers the second formula. So let's do some examples. Uh, I've written out several different um, combinations of things that you might be asked. Some of these are very similar to questions in your homework exercises, but they're a little bit different so that you can have a second practice. So this says determine the sum of the first 30 terms. So I have a, a is five, right? Here's my a value. And my d, if I look at this, I'm adding 0.3. And the 30 terms means that n is equal to 30. So take your time when you get a question like this and, and write out what you know already. So I have a, d, and n. I obviously can't use this formula because I don't know the last term. But I do know um, the... Um, I know everything else that I could use for this formula, right? So... Let's write that formula out first. So Sn equals n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And what I want you to do now is make sure that when you write your line, always write the formulas out, okay? Even if your teacher doesn't insist on it, it's a really good idea for two reasons. The first is the practice that you get writing this equation out is going to help you remember it, right? You see it, you say it, you write it, and that helps create those little patterns in your brain to remember things. So I want the sum of 30 terms. So make sure you put a 30 in here. Don't just write an N twice. So this is going to be 30 over 2 times 2 times 5. 5 was my A value from over here. Plus N is 30, so 30 minus 1 times d, which is 0 
Okay, so if you do all that, um, let me just check what the answer is here. You should get 280.5. I'm not going to do that, that math on a calculator. You don't need help with that. You need help with just setting up your formula and plugging things in properly. Okay, so for number two here, it says determine the sum. So when you look at these questions, you have to think, okay, well, it's probably a good idea for you to write out the two formulas a number of times to see which ones do I have. So if I write out this first formula that we, we devised from the Gauss method, I'll put the two right in front here. And I say, okay, determine the sum. Well, I have the A and I have the last term, the nth term is minus 94, but I don't have the N, right? How am I gonna solve for this? I don't know what number this term is. This is T1, this is T2, this is T3. What number is this? T what? Okay, so I need to find that out first. So you will have to go back to your little formula, Tn equals A plus N minus one times D, which is the um, arithmetic sequence formula we did in uh, 7.1. Okay, so if I want to know what D is, so let's take a look at this again. Now I put plus minus here, but you can see the next terms are just all subtracting. So of course, plus minus is the same as a minus. So I'm going from minus four to minus 10 to minus 16, and I need to know what D is. And you should be able to tell me right away that D is minus six. And your A is minus 4. 